651, 44 degrees. Welcome back to Daybreak. Did you know the last shots of the Civil War were fired in the Bering Sea? I had no idea. It happened two months after the Confederate Army stopped fighting on land. In this week's story time with Ann Phil, author Laurel Downey Bill tells us how one Confederate ship in particular did a lot of damage in Alaska's waters to the whaling industry. The Alaska Veterans Museum is filled with memorabilia from wars past, and this week in particular, we're talking about the Civil War. In 1865, a Confederate ship sails into Alaska's waters looking for whalers. Yeah, back then the country more or less ran on whale oil, and the Confederate Army was looking to halt production any way it could, and Laurel, they were doing it even two months after the Civil War was over. Captain James Waddell, who was the commander of the English-built Shenandoah, sailed into Alaska's waters and on June 22nd came across some whalers around St. Lawrence Island. He captured the crew and put them all into tiny little whaling boats and tied them all together and towed them behind the Shenandoah as he went on his way. And as he's capturing these whalers, Captain Waddell, he comes across a jackpot. On June 28th, he came across a whaler that had been crashed on the ice, and around him were about a dozen other whalers, and their captains were participating in an auction of that valuable whale oil. Well, Captain Waddell burned all but two of the ships. Well, the captains tried to convince him the war is over. They showed him newspapers, but Waddell said General Lee might have surrendered, but I bet there's war going on on other fronts, so he continued his mission. So the captain doesn't realize the war is over until he gets to California? On August the 2nd, he comes across the English ship called the Barracuda. He was about 13 days outside of San Francisco by that time, and that's when he learned that Lincoln was killed, Jefferson Davis, the president of the Confederacy, was in prison and that the war really was over. And he also learned that many of the rebels had been pardoned, except for him and his crew. They were to be captured and hung for decimating the whaling industry. They actually shot insurance for ships sky high with all they had done. In fact, British shippers had bought up all these cargo ships from the Americans at pennies on the dollar, and they ended up ruling the waves until the age of the U-boat. And so Captain Waddell and his crew, to escape prosecution, they sail all the way from California to England, and they pretty much get away with all the decimation they did to the Aleutians in the whaling industry. Yeah, they dropped anchor off Mersey, which is near Liverpool, England, on November the 6th. And that's 123 days after they left the Aleutians. Remember, they had all these federales chasing after them and trying to find them because they were really wanted. They went about 60,000 miles, captured, oh gosh, more than three dozen American whalers, 25 of which were after the war was over, and captured more than 1,000 sailors. And they did it all without losing a single life on either side. Pretty impressive. Yeah, it was. Again, had no, I don't think they teach that down there in the lower 48. Yeah, that we were a part of the fired. Civil War. Yeah. yeah. Pretty amazing. Well, next week in Storytime with Aunt Phil, how Anchorage became a hub for military activity and the amount of money Congress approved to build J Bear, formerly Fort Rich and mm -hmm. Elmendorf Air Force Base, more than 75 years ago.